Hi Scorpio, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God Angels and Universe has for you Scorpio. See how calm I sound? Watch all that change. Your energy is just so powerful Scorpio. What do you need? What do you need from me in this reading? Show us in the cards. What does Scorpio need God Angels in the Universe? Show us what Scorpio needs. Ten of Swords. Page of Wands. The Moon. Seven of Cups. Ace of Swords. Page of Pentacles. All right, I think you can see that. I'm going to just tilt up just a little bit. Sorry about the camera shake. My tripod is a bit sticky. Scorpio babies, what's on your mind? I'm just nervous, Alex. I just got so much on my mind. I just have so much to do. And I don't necessarily know where to start. Mm, you're in your feelings, Scorpio. Okay. I got you, babies. It's okay. I'm here. You got the Ace of Swords twice. Yeah, Scorpio, you're in your feelings. Okay, let's do this. It's us, right? You're stressed and worried. You're, um, something is not sitting right with you. Oh, okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of bummed out that maybe certain relationships had to end in the past. You're in an incredibly loving person, Scorpio. And I feel like these two cards here is like, damn, why can't I just find somebody to love me how I need to be loved? I mean, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm not asking for, you know, dinner in Paris and Santorini. And I just want somebody to love me for me. Now, as I paused, I was looking at these two cards and this four of cups says, you know, you're a little numb. You're not necessarily really connected or engaged in love or a lot of you guys on the low, low are looking for love, believe it or not. And I just got that right from this four of cups. A lot of you guys on the low are looking for love. You can tell me you're not, but if love comes along, Scorpio, you're going to be cheesing like the rest of us. Okay. But with this page of wands, I want you to be careful because not that this is desperation, but I don't want you to be too bummed out that you take the first thing that looks like love to you, right? This page of wands is somebody coming in to, you know, to, to maybe invite you out. Hey, Scorpio, you want to go out and get a drink? But this little dicky bitch right here is, is for sex. That's what I'm getting. It's for sex. Not only that, but for a lot of you, yeah. I mean, you may be like, shit, if I can't get the love, yeah, hit a sister off. Right? But Scorpio, I feel like there are some lingering emotions inside of you, maybe deep-rooted fear that you need to see for yourself. You need clarity on. Maybe you need to be honest with yourself in saying that, Mm, that's deep. I'm hearing, why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid of love? Why do you feel like you keep getting hurt? Like what really is it? Is that the root Scorpio here? What really are you afraid of? Why is it? Yes, that you do get into relationships. And then this person kind of transforms right in front of your eyes. As in we started out so great. And then all of a sudden, like, I feel like the rug just was pulled from up under me. Scorpio, there has to, the moon card for me is rose colored glasses. So that just kind of says to me that maybe the clarity that you need here, which is why you're up under the tree waiting for true love because you're in your emotions, you do want to be loved. So the clarity needed here is very simple. When you meet somebody, I feel like maybe you become incredibly emotional for this person you may fall in love with them quickly. You may start liking them quickly. And unfortunately for some of you guys, you start to ignore the red flags. 
You start to ignore the red flags. You start to ignore the stupidity. You start to overlook stuff. You start to make excuses for your person, right? So this is kind of like the universe saying, okay, boo-boo Scorpio, we know you want love. We love you. Okay. And we know we don't want you to misrepresent this page of wands for the page of cups as in I want love so bad that I'm interested in the page of wands when that's a fire sign boo boo they're gonna burn you out and typically they're gonna burn you out sex sexually and Scorpio had you not been in this current state of emotion that might be fine but because to an extent you are looking for some sort of emotional compatibility and sort of some sort of emotional connection, this particular situation and or person, in my opinion, as a reader is, I wouldn't advise for you to give this person any of your time or energy, because I do kind of feel like they're just coming in to be fed, right? And mind you, Scorpio, I didn't say they're coming to feed you. I said, they're coming in to be fed by you. These types of people and energy are the ones who drain you and causes you to, to be without and to kind of go without. And if you look at the four of cups, yeah, three of cups, Holy Trinity, it starts out great and wonderful. And then by that fourth cup, the three are already drained out, right? There's no more love. There's no more fun. There's no more happiness. And now I'm just looking for anything that I can get out of a cup, right? But that's because of this page of wands energy. Let's talk about the page of wands. For me, the page of wands will tell you exactly what it is that you want to hear. The page of wands is very word friendly. They're very wordy. They're going to tell you and flirt with you and tell you what it is they want to hear. They're going to be very passionate. Scorpio, if I can get you, I can, you know, Scorpio, that shit will make you blush like crazy. Okay. And then what happens is you open up your heart to this page of swords and then eventually you have to close it again because why, excuse me, not the page of swords, page of wands. But you have to close it. Why? Because it was a wand, not a cup. Okay. Now, again, the rose colored glasses, they come in, you misrepresent them to be a page of cups when they're really a page of wands. You have rose colored glasses go on and they get what they want and then they wind up leaving or they end up falling short. And afterwards, yeah, you get clarity like, damn, that really was a page of wands. And we're like, uh, yeah, Scorpio, it was a page of wands all along, but you kind of misrepresented them and thought they were something else, right? You saw them as being something else. I got water in my watch. Okay. So now what happens is Scorpio, you, you guys start out on a new journey. It's like, all right, I'm gonna try this love shit again. Let me see. You know, at this point you're, you done been so kind of quote unquote duped by this page of wands energy, Scorpio's like, look, I don't even know. Send me a page, a night, a shot of something. Okay. You guys, to an extent, start to fantasize, daydream, lose hope about like this quote unquote perfect person. And then when this page of wands comes along, you lose sight of who he is because to an extent for a lot of you guys, you're so emotional and in your heart muscle or in your heart visualization of this person, that you only see them as what you want them to be, to be versus who they are. So Scorpio with this clarity, God angels universe is saying, all right, boo boo, go on back out there, <laughs> right? Go on back out there. See what else is out there. You now know what to do, what not to do. You got the clarity that you needed and you know, it's time to start over the universe. I mean, you got two aces here. So the universe is saying Scorpio, I'm going to bring you a whole new, um, situation, right? Cause you have the page of pentacles there. So now you have somebody who's coming in, who's a little bit more honest and ain't going to tell you what you want to hear Scorpio. And guess what? Yeah. They're going to show up. They're consistent. They're this, that, or the other. But again, remember it's a page of pentacles, not necessarily a page of cups. And that clarity is sitting right there because we don't want you to fall for this shit again. And then Instead of being down and out emotionally, like you were with this page of wands, well, with the page of pentacles, now you're feeling shortchanged, right? Now you're feeling shortchanged. Now you're feeling like, yo, why did I give my energy to this person? Right? And here's that clarity again. I gave, I, I thought they were going to be more than they were. Then you find out, shit, 
It's just a fucking page of pentacles. Here's the victory. There's the six of wands. Out of all this shit that you keep going through, Scorpio, all this shit you keep going through, yeah, you always walk away with what? Knowledge, information, and clarity. And you should. Not only that, but walking away, moving away, you now know and have the clarity to recognize and identify those as pages. What does that mean to you, Scorpio? That means they're both going to come up short because they're pages. A lot For a lot of you guys, this is pe- somebody who's younger, somebody who's less mature, somebody who has less resources than you do, okay? So angels are saying, Scorpio, are you falling back into your old ways of taking and getting and accepting what you can instead of to an extent kind of quote unquote holding out for what you deserve okay you got shortages here you got shortages here this is lack this is disinterest and disconnection scorpio babies it's time for you to maybe get in touch with your feelings which again you're frustrated which is good thank goodness Because now we want you to just take a deeper dive, take a deeper look inside and say, okay, universe, thank you for sending these guys, but, or females, whomever, right? Thank you for sending them. But also at the same time, I have a responsibility here too, to make sure that I'm not looking through these rose colored glasses or I'm falling in love with somebody's potential instead of who they are and their actual real contributions to this Scorpio this is a deep ass message okay um because I do feel like yeah once you're once you guys start investing or once your heart becomes active in these situations you lose sight of who these people are until it's over and then that's when you get your clarity angels are trying to bless you in saying get your clarity inside the situations, right? Forget this rose colored glasses stuff. Forget the fear, right? Forget the desperation, whatever you want to call it. See these people for who they are. They are lesser Scorpio, whatever lesser means to you guys. Okay. They are lesser. They are walking through the door Scorpio with not much to contribute to the table. Okay. So when, when you don't get what you want, it's because they're lesser. They came through the door like that. Okay. So we want to recognize them from the front door, but also at the same time, we have to determine what kind of access we're giving them to our heart. Do they need full blown admin access? They could change passwords and, and create and delete shit. These pages, hell no, I don't want you mistakenly deleting my shit. So how, how about we give y'all read access? Okay. And Scorpio, again, you have that power and control. You do. But again, when your heart, when you guys get in your heart, everything around you changes and transforms. There it is right there. It changes and transforms. Scorpio, you can make a bum the president or a king or a queen. And when you have to walk away from that relationship, you'll say to yourself, man, that dude was just a bum. And, and we're like, yeah, they were a bum when they walked through the door too. Okay. Oh, I pulled this card out. Let's see. Angel answers have abundance at any time, all the time, any time, Scorpio abundance. Reconsider. Yeah. And that's your approach because the abundance and reconsider says to me that Scorpio You walk into these situations like the queen cups full of love, ready to give it, ready to give it away. But your quote unquote subjects are not equipped to hold that amount of love and then also reciprocate that amount of love. So reconsider in abundance is preserve and reserve this energy for a king, not a page. And remember, guys, don't pay attention to gender. Ask for help from others. Yeah. 
and and again Scorpio I feel like you're in your feelings you're in your very a very vulnerable vulnerable state you know talk to people talk to people about to an extent yeah what you may be doing wrong or you know what it is that you may not have experience in right because the fool is that person a person who makes mistakes too right and yeah maybe you're making mistakes because again looking through things through rose colored glasses so open up to people you trust i'm talking people who you really 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 trust and just say to them like damn i just noticed that i'm doing this shit over and over i mean am i doing it to myself and i love when my friends ask me that question right because i jump in there and be like no you're just loving you're just giving your heart but i do feel like sometimes that does get in your way and clouds your vision when it comes to who you're giving your heart to be assertive don't let this don't let this um bottom you out scorpio don't let this stress you too much longer you're not doing anything wrong you're just trying to love someone and maybe open your heart to someone you know yes you can readjust your vision to make sure you're giving it to the right person but also at the same time you really can't blame a page for being a page you can't if they don't have the experience they don't have the maturity they don't have the amount of love you can't really blame them because that's who they are they just don't know two cards luck is on your side woohoo what's luck what luck adjustments are required you know what that's saying to me Scorpio it's time to take action and the one on the bottom surrender to the divine hot damn these moonology cards that just came out just said to me because we have something better coming your way and y'all see me shifting because I'm about to pull off of these cards you got the four of wands and the two of pentacles okay so yeah you are going to have to balance yourself out and making sure again that you're learning your person you're not misrepresenting them and the four of four of wands is your uh, relationship and your marriage and emotional stability. You know what I mean? So I do feel like, yeah, you guys still have some back and forth to do to an extent before you actually get to that quote unquote stable relationship, stable environment. This was an amazing ass reading Scorpio. Who do we have on the table? We got um, Pisces here. We have um, Aquarius and Virgo and that's it. All right, babies, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you so much, Scorpio. Bye.